Thursday night in Tampa, in a game between the Lightning and the Calgary Flames, Flames forward Brad Richardson got a match penalty for this hit to the head of Matthew Joseph. As the video shows, Joseph is in defensive zone coverage in the high slot. When the puck is sent around the net to the corner, he heads down to get it. Richardson was the one who originally sent the puck over and is now heading across the low slot to join the battle. He makes it fully across the entire zone into Joseph's lane and delivers a shoulder check to the head. Richardson changes his angle of approach multiple times in just half a zone of distance. First, he starts toward the corner from the net. At the edge of the circle, he flips his edges to head more toward the hash marks. Before he even gets to the center of the circle, he flips them again and toward the corner. One single push after that, he flips them again, back to the hash marks. And then with just a couple of feet to go, he flips them one last time toward Joseph. Now what he's doing does make sense. Because Joseph takes such a straight line approach to the puck, it masks his intentions. Richardson can't be sure which way Joseph will go, so we can't commit up or down until about now. Joseph has finally started to turn his body up the boards. Also, the positioning of the second Flames player has cut off the corner option once and for all, so Richardson can now commit to an up-the-wall angle of approach. So he flips his edges to the right destination and gets set to engage. Here it is from the reverse angle. Joseph starts to head up the boards. Richardson turns to give chase. Right at this moment, everything is perfect. All Richardson has to do is continue skating on this new path of travel and gradually squeeze Joseph out with his left shoulder. But, just inches and fractions of a second later, he rotates himself to a completely different and dangerous angle of approach. Instead of skating alongside Joseph in more the same direction and squeezing him out at the shoulder, Richardson is now on a path across the front of Joseph's body with his shoulder headed directly into his head. Look at Richardson's left arm here. Right before contact, his arm is across his chest with his shoulder lined up with the edge of his pants and his glove is all the way across the Flames logo on his jersey. At moment of impact, again just fractions of a second later, his shoulder is now up slightly, his elbow is now sticking out, with his hand having come all the way across his body and now barely covering the front edge of the logo because he extended his arm and his shoulder. While I believe that final turn and thrust towards Joseph wasn't malicious, but more a product of Richardson trying to close the gap quickly, he just didn't have the time and space to do so safely. And while I accept Joseph's head pitches forward at the last second, that wouldn't matter if Richardson had continued on his along the side angle of approach instead of himself adjusting last second into his across the body approach. I'd classify this as a non-hockey play that isn't malicious, putting it in my 3-5 to five game suspension category. Tough call would suspend Brad Richardson of the Calgary Flames three games for an illegal check to the head.